to the Ten Commandments. That was good cake. Or with the Ten Commandments. They are not the Ten Suggestions. They are the Ten Commandments. Why? Did God give us Ten Commandments? <clears throat> Somebody answer that. Follow. Uh, okay. His law. His law. The reason God gave us Ten Commandments was to keep you give you a happy life. God is not trying to punish you. God is trying to help you. And so when he says, listen, I'm the only God. Don't be worshiping Buddha. You go start worshiping Buddha or Hindu or become a Muslim, uh, you're going to get it. Your, your mind completely whacked, all right? And now you're worthless. Your mind's gone. It's gone. Uh, don't make any graven images. So all that false worship that the uh, Jews were doing at the time, God said, and all the other religions, he said, we're not going to do that either. Why? Why? Because then you're going to depend on some statue and kissing some statue. And uh, there's a statue and, uh, at the uh, Rome, the Vatican. They completely kissed the toe of Jesus off. That's how many people have licked the toe of Jesus. Where they've literally licked the man's toe off. I mean, I guess he's going to have to have an operation. We're not really sure. Haven't talked to heaven yet. But he, he may wind up getting a, a new steel toe, all right? But that's how much they've kissed it. So let's don't do no more kissing, bowing down uh, to grave images. And then he said, uh, don't take my name in vain. He said, do you want to really get me mad? Start cussing my name. Use your mama's name. It's a whole lot better. Why? Because these are the things that God hates. Keep the Sabbath. Go to church. Go to church. Go to church. Rule number five, six days you work, one day you're off. Now, the old timers really believed in this law uh, a whole lot. If we were to announce that in the year 2000, what year we in? 2017, you cannot work on Sunday. All right, go to church, rest, play ball, you know, play with your kids. Six days you got all week to work. Seventh day, stay with family. We would have mutiny. You know why? Americans love to work. And we are a, a workaholic <laughs> society. <coughs> What's a workaholic society? We'll die working. You say, how do you know? I plan on doing it myself. I plan on taking more vacations as I get older. But I will not ever leave the company until they take me away. All right? Until then, I am going to be there. Now, I'm going to stay there, and I will take, again, I'll take up more vacations, but I'm not going to quit. All right? And that's just the way Americans think. Hebrews were like this. We've got to build bricks. We've got to build pyramids. We get one day off. Worship God for an hour. Take the rest of the day off. Let's play. Let's do something. You know, no labor. Let's make some side money. No work. But, 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 I, I, I'm going to bake a cake and make money making cakes on Sundays. No. Do it on Saturday. So God basically says, this makes me what? Mad. <coughs> Mad. Mad. Number seven. Now... You're no longer getting God mad. Now you're, you're getting other people mad. Mm -hmm. Honor. 
honor thy father and mother. Why? So you can have a long life. Want to have a miserable life? Piss me off. Amen? Have my children just get mad at me. And guess what? Ain't going to hurt me, baby. It's going to hurt you. Amen? <laughs> you think you're, you're hurting me? Amen? You think you're robbing from me? You ain't robbing from me. You robbing from yourself. Everything I earned goes to my wife and my children. They go to her first. After that, they go to the children. So you're robbing yourself. All right? You want to be dummy? Rob from yourself? Help yourself. <coughs> Honor. Thou shalt not kill. Kill what? <coughs> Here comes a debate. Humans. Hebrews say, Hebrews do not kill Hebrews. It's okay to go to war and fight other men. Moabs, Jebusites, all the mites. You know, if you're a cousinite, you're going to die. All right? We're going to kill you. But you do not kill another Hebrew. We in America, we have the death penalty, or suppose you used to have the death penalty if you kill somebody. Now, the poor, bleeding heart liberals say, we can't kill this guy just because he killed 20 people. Oh, we can't do that just because he made some little six-year-old child suffer. Oh, no. Not a pedophile. I mean, the man's sick. We got a curious. It's called a bullet. It's called an electric chair. Kill him. Thou shalt not kill. You ain't got a reason to kill a man. A, mortal enemy. B, deserves it. And not by your definition. God's definition. Don't be killing people. All right? God says, love your enemies. He didn't say, kill your enemies. He said, Jesus said, love your enemies. I don't have to like you. I don't have to hang around you. Amen. But I still got to love you. Amen. 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 Sometimes it's a little rough. Lord, I love you so much. I wish you'd take them home right now. Okay, just take them home. That's how much I love you. I want them to be with you. <laughs> I love him that much. All right. Mm. I said not commit adultery. Why? What do you get with adultery? How about, give me a magical disease. How about gonorrhea? They got a brand new one. It just hit the market. It's a hundred, it's a thousand times worse than the old gonorrhea. Thousand times worse. You catch this love bug, you ain't getting rid of it. You're going to die. Of course, that's what they said about AIDS. And they were right for about 30 years. Yeah. All right? Then they came up with an antibiotic or whatever. But syphilis is on the rise. AIDS is on the rise. Mm. Now, shall not see it. Why? God didn't put that in there for you not to have fun. He got that. He put that in there so you wouldn't steal somebody's stuff and wind up getting shot. Right. Don't be lying. You lie, somebody gonna kill you. Yeah. Don't be coveted. Don't be wanting somebody else's stuff. You start wanting people's other stuff, guess what? I hate to tell you this, but you may just get it. Right. When you get it, you may just not want it. Right, amen. So it'd be a whole lot better not to cover. It's all right to have dreams, but not to cover. Now, verse 18, we see God has come down. The people saw the thunder and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet. The mountain is smoking. I mean, it is a sight to be seen. And the people saw it. What did they do? They got off that mountain. They were smart. Amen? Verse number 19. Here's the most important verse. You don't hear any other verse. Remember this one. Verse number 19. And they said unto Moses, Speak with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Now here, 
God Almighty been listening to your whining for 400 and something years that she's a slave. Amen. Because them Jew boys weren't always that good. You saw what they did to Joseph. Amen. Put him in a pit. Mm -hmm. Prison. Told his daddy was dead. Right. So the so the other boys, they weren't no good any, anyhow. <clears throat> they were God's children. So God finally said, God, I done heard your whining for 400 years. And now, it is finally my time to talk. You don't want to hear me. That's the way most Christians are. Preacher, I do not want to have a personal relationship with God. I don't want God talking to me. Because if God talks to me, it's between me and Him, and He's going to tell me to do something or not do something. But if you tell me, preacher, well, that's just the preacher talking. That's just the pastor. I'm not listening. Personal relationship. They don't want it. Do you want a personal relationship with God? Amen. These people don't. They don't want it. 